Both these young men were promising students looking to take their first steps in what promised to be a long and fruitful medical career. Both came from humble beginnings. So, just what led one young man to resort to the cold-blooded murder of another? Wu Hajun tries to piece the puzzle together. Once a doctor to be. Now facing a death sentence for murdering his roommate. There was no one else in the room, so I injected the nitrosodimethylamine into the water dispenser. There was a bit of yellow liquid, so I put some mineral water in to dilute the color. And nitrosodimethylamine is a highly toxic compound. Ling Sunhao knew exactly what he was doing. He had written several papers on the subject. Police and prosecutors knew how he did it. But what they didn't know was why. My relationship with Huang Yang was so-so. We didn't really like each other. He thought I was dull, and I thought he was arrogant. Prosecutors say that Ling developed personal grudges against Huang Yang for what most people would think of as trivial disputes. The tipping point was Huang's academic success, which Ling just couldn't handle. It became apparent around March 2013 that Huang would secure his PhD candidacy at the university. Meanwhile, Ling was experiencing some academic setbacks. That was the last straw for Ling. Faced with the evidence, Ling apologized for what he did. What I did caused Huang Yang's death and brought tremendous grief to his family. I'm deeply sorry. But prosecutors say he could have come forward earlier. Huang did not die straight away, and if Ling had told doctors which poison he'd used, there's a chance they could have saved Huang's life. Many say Ling ruined two lives, his victim and his own. The murder has sparked public debate over China's high-pressure education system, which focuses heavily on academic aspects. There are calls for more emphasis on character building and non-academic development. Wu Hajun, CCTV.